Hey guys, welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today's test drive is this 1965 Impala SS 327. You got power steering, you got power brakes, you got the AC hooked up. And of course, I'm gonna take it down the road, point out any flaws so you know what you get before you get here. This one's got disc brakes in the front, drum in the rear. Got the dual antennas. Pretty sweet looking ride. Dual exhaust out the back as well. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share this video. That helps me out quite a bit, and I do appreciate that. You can go to maplemotors.com for financing and shipping. Uh, there's 100 detailed pictures on this car, and of course, every car on the lot. And every Monday, we update with new inventory. That's every Monday, guys, so check it out. Monday at 11s, and um, there's usually about 10 to 15 cars added every week. For now, sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior, check everything out. Place those bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? It's a game we like to play on the channel. Seats are in great shape. The dash on this one looks pretty good. Not too bad at all. A little wavy here from the sun. It looks like a cover. It's a cap is what it is they put on top. Coming around in the back seat here. Pretty clean, looks good. Even the headliner's in good shape. Both lights working in the back. I love the design on the headliner here. The visors are looking good. Let's go ahead and start it up. She's cold right now too. Starts up good. You see the engine temperature's all the way down. We'll be watching that gauge as we do the test drive. Oil pressure's on the high side. Gas gauge, we're gonna have to stop and get some fuel. Turn signals. Popping up, both sides, wipers, working. Radio, we do have the face that's in the office. AC, does it work? Can't quite tell at the moment. We'll be letting it uh, roll throughout the video and I'll let you know about that. It does feel like it's blowing pretty strong right now though, throughout this vent. To check that compressor. It actually feels somewhat cool. I'll keep an eye on it, like I said. look like that gauge is working horn did you place your bets <laughs> works good all right let's take off okay we're gonna take off today got my boy with me again we're gonna go ride and find out what's wrong with this car here so you know what you're getting we'll try reverse first there we are neutral dry that AC is not quite cold yet it's trying not there yet. We're gonna drive down the road, see if it starts kicking in gear. All right, let's go traffic. It's about the only thing in our way every day is all the traffic. Here we go, guys. Pretty hard shift there. The brakes feel pretty good on this one. They stop fast. Kick down on this one's not hooked up. Speedometer is working on the dash there. And it's showing 12,000 miles and turning over. It's hard to stand behind that in a 65 model. This very well could have a shift kit from first to second. We'll be trying that out here in just a second again. Once we have some freedom. Carb is popping a little bit. I think it's got some ethanol backed up in it. We're gonna put some fresh gas in it. You hear that? Yeah. So these old carburetors, they collect gas and once the car sits, the gas evaporates and then it leaves behind this green residue, which they put in all the fuel nowadays. Yeah. Or as long as you've been alive. I guess me too, right? Yeah. <laughs> AC never got really cold in this one. I mean, it's blowing, it feels all right, but it's not freezing cold at all. All right, let's pull in here, get about, I don't know, $25 worth of premium fuel. Right now, 
we're pretty much dead on E, so place those bets. Do you think the gas gauge works? We'll be trying it out here in just a second. Let's do it. Okay. Went in there and got us some Gatorades. Liam, did you get gas in this one? Yep. Is cap on? Yep. Hi. Good. All right, let's roll. We'll check that gauge out. And we'll head out of here. So, gauge. It's coming up too. It's working. All right. This one's got blue LEDs under the dash. Huh. Nice. You want me to put those in mom's car? Sure. All right, guys, let's roll. taking the scenic route going by our old house i noticed the the popping in the car was getting better so i was like well let's just take the long route take her about five more miles down the road it's starting to clear up pretty good too so far so good i mean this car's got nice tight steering it's holding its own going straight as narrow down the road every once in a while i feel a little bit of a flat spot but like I said, I believe it's just ethanol up in the car. I'm trying to clear it out here. Just driving it around the neighborhood. We haven't actually been back here in four months since we moved. Yeah. I mean, I only drove my bike to the back here. You did? Yeah. You got big hills up where we live now. We got the lake over there. All right, guys, we're just gonna keep rolling here. And then we're gonna go and do some undercarriage shots and finish up this video. We're gonna be doing a, picking out the flaws, walking around the car here in a moment as well. Hey, one of our old neighbors. This is my old street, I lived here for 10 years. There it is. Old house there. All right. Let's go find us a spot over at the docks. We'll do some videos there.
so far this is a really good test drive it feels great outside today we got to go by the lake this thing's definitely got a shift kit we'll get into it here in a minute running much better i haven't had any issues out of the carburetor since we ran it around the block that's all it needed to be driven sometimes that's all it takes sometimes you don't get that lucky But of course, we're heading back to the lot now. When we get there, we're going to be picking out the flaws, looking for chips, scratches, rust. And of course, he follows me the whole time. He, you're going to be able to do these videos here in the next couple of years. That'd be pretty awesome. Yep. Let that guy get way ahead there. going down the road I like the suspension on this one feels good we almost caught that guy again I do remember living on this road. Everybody would run about 30 mile an hour, five under the speed limit, which, I mean, it was fine, but sometimes when you were in a hurry, it was aggravating. <laughs> There's one of them right, right there. We're catching them right now. This speedometer's off too. We're running about 35 to 40. Plenty of pep. No hesitation now. Just nice and smooth. We'll cut off on the back road over here. So the temperature gauge is working. I notice it's a little bit past halfway. Oil pressure is still high on it. I noticed a little gas smoke puffing out of the back when I was revving and you could kind of smell the fumes. I think the carburetor was getting a little rich there. The car's not sneezing anymore, is it? Nope. I feel like it'll chirp second. Take the scenic route here. Some of the guys down at Brian's Motorsports live there. It's actually his father. responsive
more sounds good. Okay guys, what we're gonna do next is go ahead and skip over to picking out the flaws. That's where I'm going around, point out chip scratches. Anything you wanna see, you wanna look at the 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Financing, shipping, and of course hit subscribe. That helps us out quite a bit. Keeps us going on test drives. Yep. Oh, that visor needs to be tightened up. I can show you how to do that too little screw on the right side there it's flathead is that what it is yeah just <laughs> you like that it was magic <laughs> all right guys i'll see y'all here in a minute Okay, now we're gonna be walking around looking for any kind of flaws that we can find. Look at the detailed pictures, maplemotors.com, and let's get started. So coming up on the nose, you do got a little spot there. You can see the bumper's got light scuffs, little scratches here and there. The grill's in pretty good shape. That lower portion there's got chips. Coming down the side here. Up and over the fender well. Some bubbles at the bottom of the door here. A little rust trying to come through. Chips on the edge of that door. Little touch up marks. Around the back. A little scuff on this back bumper. Of course, we'll be going over that here in a second. Coming down that midsection. Dirt there. You got some chips on the edge of the door. You got a little bit of pitting on your door handle here. You got some spots right up here on the front. Coming back over the top of the fender here. Little chips on the windshield. Two spots. A little dirt on the door. You've got a little bit of pitting on your door handle there. Vent window looks good. You got some cracks right here. Vinyl top looks pretty good. Got some bubbles on the back underneath that vinyl top. The back looks pretty good there though. So does the middle. Little chip here, little chip here. Coming around on the trunk lid, or the jam in the trunk. You got a little bit of rust on the edge there. Popping up. A 
You can see down in the trunk, this is probably the original pan here. You got a few little holes. I've got some thin spots. You can see them throughout. Little rust popping up there inside that weather stripping. Get up in your package tray, surface rust, but it looks pretty good. Not too bad. Bubbles there popping up. Bumper on the back, chrome looks good. Spot in the corner. Up and over the back here, you've got a little bit of rust popping up. It's underneath this too, you can see all the bubbles. It's like a mountain range. Coming down this side, we gotta shut this door a little bit better. Lower portion. Little spot there in the corner, up and over. down the side here you got a chip there here tell your mama we'll meet her for lunch after this you got some bubbles in the corner of the door there little spot here up and over chip there Back that midsection. Slight little bubbles popping up on top of the fender here in this section. A little scuff here. Chips. Little bubbles up here on top too. Back there. Do you not know how to talk to her? Yeah, yeah. You gotta put this on your ears. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, Little scuffs here on this door handle. Okay. Looks pretty good down the side. I mean, this upper portion is in good shape. Other than these little chips and stuff. It's not too bad. Little spot there. Scuff here. Coming down. You can see they touched this up though. It's like a black piece there. Little spots here on top. Again, there's some rust underneath this vinyl top in the back. Back window. Looks pretty good. Trim around the window looks good. Vent windows in decent shape. Light pitting on your mirror there. Nah, that's the right way. Up your pillar. Filling around these edges. These edges are fine here. Up in the top on the roof. Looks pretty good. Front. Front windshield. Nice and clean. 
little bubbles popping up here and coming down the top of the fender little chips right here the emblem on the front has got a lot of little cracks all right let's go ahead and check out the inside and get her started up a big car the button on this is a little bit stiff here do you hear finally okay door panel on this one actually it looks like it's been redone a little wrinkly here by the actual window crank and there's a hole up here side over here the seal looks good the bottom here pretty good and your jam carpet on this one's not too bad the the seat itself it's not wore on the edges here but it is tore right here on the inner part of the seat i do believe that's fixable back seat plenty of room nice and clean around the back here in good shape go ahead and sit down in here ac never actually got real cold keys are in my pocket here so i do need those let's figure out which one it is probably all the same yep starts right up little sneeze there there's the sneeze <laughs> top of that panel there it's got a little bit of fading issues same thing on this side here door shuts good exhaust sounds great and like i said it cleared up quite a bit on the test drive so I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to do that the whole time. Got much, much better. Nice, smooth running motor. Quiet. Edges of the hood are solid. Underneath the hood looks good. Let's shut her down, see how it lines up. It actually locks easy. The edges on this one look good. Chip here. Little spot in the middle of the hood. Spot in the corner there. And up in this corner. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share this video. That helps me out quite a bit. And go to maplemotors.com for all of our inventory. We update every week. We do go through about 60 cars a month. So there's always going to be something new. And, of course, if you check every Monday at 11, you'll be first to see those rides. People are getting pre-approved and able to pick them up faster. And there's three different finance companies on my website. We can also ship them to your front door. So... That helps out quite a bit. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Later.